All right, so what is he up to now? All right, so uh, it's been a day or so since I made the last video. I know I just posted it this afternoon, but uh, <clears throat> it's been a couple of days. Uh, last night, I came up in here with plans of, of starting to lay track and, and you know got some cork out and got real excited about laying, laying track down. And I just got overwhelmed about, you know, am I doing this in the right order? And so I just stopped. I, I didn't actually lay any track. Um, I had a piece back in the corner there that, um, you know, my plan was I'll start there in the back <clears throat> and I'll go ahead and lay track up, up around this way. And I had the first piece down and I said, I've got to stop this. This isn't right. I don't have a plan. So what am I doing now? The plan is I'm going to start from the walls and work my way out. Um, so that way uh, I won't have any track laid between me and the scenery that I'm working on in the background and hopefully I can keep it cleaner that way. So what is this contraption up here on the wall? This is how I'm going to paint a straight line of sky down this wall without um, having to worry about using painter's tape. So. Uh, what I've done is I've taken my trammel apart, which is the device I use to, to uh, draw my radius, radii, sorry, on the, on the layout. And I'm using the yardsticks as a straight edge on the wall. <clears throat> and I'm going to take one of these edging tools and I'm going to paint my sky this way with an edger. Uh, it's, it's a little bit far away, especially back in the corner. Uh, to get painters tape up there, you know, you can never get that stuff straight and it doesn't usually give you a very sharp line. So uh, what I've done is I've taken the yardsticks that I had here and I've got some short screws that I'm using. <clears throat> I take the end of the yardstick And I uh, actually shouldn't have run that screw in there the whole way. But um, take the yardstick, butt the, butt the uh, bottom edges together, make sure they're level, and then just um, attach the first side. Sure, they're low, he says. All right, so just run a screw in there enough to hold it, and then take um, take another screw, obviously, to, to attach the other end. But obviously, this time I'm going to lay the level up here and make sure that I'm level for this section. So I've never tried this before. I hope it works. So you know, if it doesn't work, you'll never see this video. So anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get my paint ready to go. I don't have it mixed up yet, so I'm going to pause the video, come back when we're ready to paint, and we'll see how All it turns right, so out. So moment of truth, <clears throat> we're going to put some paint up here. See what it looks like. So the question is, can I reach the corner? All right, so, so far so good. Run this out to the end here, get a little more paint on the pad. Make sure I'm still visible. So we don't want to run it 
too close to the edge there. I'll smooth out these ridges. Sometimes the pad will leave a ridge at the bottom of the line here. So I'm just going to try and smooth that out a little bit. And I'm probably going to have to get a chair or something, which I don't seem to have right now, to get back into the corner. And I guess I've been talking and you've been wondering where I've been because I haven't been in the shot. But anyway, back there in the corner, um, I'm a little bit shy of being able to get over there. So uh, I will get that in a few minutes. But I uh, just want to kind of smooth out this ridge here so we don't have a ridge sticking on the bottom of our line. There we go. All right, so the rest of it, <clears throat> obviously I'll use a regular nine inch roller on that and uh, go ahead and finish that up. But I think that's gonna work. Um, what I'm gonna do now is take the, uh, um, the, the uh, edge line that I'm using here and run it down towards the corner and uh, go ahead and finish out this wall. So um, you've seen how it works. I guess there's no point in making you watch the rest of this. So uh, I'll pause the, uh, pause the video for now and uh, we'll resume later on after I've got some All right, done. so over here in the corner, uh, I've had to come around the edge. Luckily, my walls are a little bit longer than three feet uh, here in the corner. So uh, hopefully, I'll just be able to come right around there. And uh, yeah, it didn't look even, but I guess it is. Uh, grab my paint here and move it back down to the corner. But uh, you know, it's, tur it's turning out pretty well. We'll, uh, as soon as I finish painting this corner, I'll show you the rest of it here. This thing of, uh, nice thing about these paint pads is that you can get obviously right into the corner. With a, uh, a nice crisp line over there, provided you can reach the corner. But, uh, you know, then obviously along the edge, I can turn and come right down along my casing here and uh, not get any paint on the side. So, all right, so that's got me into the corner. We'll just uh, swing the camera around here so you can see what a, what a nice line that provides. So right down into the corner. So I'm going to go ahead and continue this on around the room. Uh, the only the only place I may have some trouble is back here in the corner. Uh, I'm not sure that's three feet in there, but anyway, that'll be exciting. So um, I'm going to go ahead and finish painting this wall and finish around the room, and then we'll come back and take. All a right, break. so we're done <clears throat> back in the corner there. Um, I had to cut the yardstick about five inches short to make it fit in there. But that's done, and then down along this wall, whole way to the corner, and around, and then finally back across here. So my sky backdrop is complete. Um, I'm going to take the uh, take the camera. Well, actually, I'll leave it on the on the tripod for just a minute. I wanted to show you uh, kind of one other thing I tried uh, after I got the um, <clears throat> the wood loads done, uh, which turned out rather well, by the way. Um, if I could get to them, well, let's see. I might be able to get to them. Hold on. Sorry for the shot of the blank wall over there, but. Uh, Anyway, here are a couple of the, see if I can get these in here. Don't know if they'll focus, of the finished lumber loads with the uh, insignias on both sides there. Sorry about that. Uh, but they came out well. The uh, one, one other thing I did, just, just fooling around, I had this old pickup truck it's I don't know what what scale it is it's pretty close to HO if you stand a guy next to it you know it looks like it's it's pretty good um, a lot of times you can find these trucks 
at uh, the dollar store. They're only like 88 cents a piece. And, you know, just for sitting around the layout, kind of off in the distance, they're fine. But I took one of those uh, Weyerhaeuser insignias and I glued it onto the side of the truck there. So, you know, this is the uh, the Weyerhaeuser sales rep has shown up at the at the lumber yard to, uh, to see if he can't sell some more of his product. So anyway, uh, you know, just a, another little um, project that I worked on uh, the other night after I finished up the lumber loads. And uh, so I guess that's about it for now. Um, appreciate everybody watching and subscribing. And uh, just before I started filming this video tonight, um, I looked at my channel and I have exactly 500 subscribers. So that's really great. Um, you know, when I started this three or four years ago, I was just, you know, having fun and filming a layout that uh, was basically going to be for my uh, my one grandson because uh, that's all I had. But now I've got three, uh, fourth on the way, uh, grandson number two, who is uh, three years old. He's going to be the, my train buddy, I think. Um, he's into Thomas right now, and uh, I built him a layout for Christmas, a Thomas layout. So I'll stick a shot of that here on the end so you can see what that looks like. But, uh, you know, he had a pretty good time with that on uh, Christmas Day. So, again, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Uh, appreciate all the comments. And um, so now I think I've got a plan uh, for the room. I'm not going to just think, you know, oh, well, tonight I'll go to lay some track. Um, you know, not a good idea. So as I said at the start of the video, I um, started the walls and worked my way out to the edge. Um, the next thing that I want to try and do is uh, I've got some cloud stencils that I used uh, way back when on a, a backdrop that I had on the first layout. And I want, I've got those uh, still. I saved them. Um, I'm going to try doing some clouds here um, on the backdrop next. And that, that's a little bit uh, different because um, obviously uh, with a stencil, you know, you don't want to use a roller or a paint pad or anything. It's got to be sprayed on. So. Um, you know, I do have an airbrush. I may uh, see how that works. Um, I don't know if I want to start that with the clouds, but I'll get the old Krylon out. You know, we'll do some clouds maybe uh, next week or so. But uh, anyway, again, uh, I, I'm rambling. Thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned.